Hello friends. This is going to be a different video than we usually have. Um, our year-long curriculum is over, so we won't be discussing a story today as we usually will. Um, much of our summer curriculum is centered on stories from around the world. Those stories that are centered on faith as well as legends and mythology so that we may all travel together to different places and experience the outside world while safely staying at home. We will get to those stories um, very soon, but first I want to talk to you about some of the difficulties that we are facing in our city and the country at large, and possibly what we can do to help. So I just want you to know that that's what we're going to be discussing today, so take a deep breath. <sighs> You may be seeing videos and pictures that are frightening or confusing. You may be hearing words like rioting and brutality, and you may not know what they mean. We are part of a very important moment in history, because this is all a part of another very big word, revolution. A revolution is what happens when a system that has been hurting people for a long time and a lot of people get together and decide that it's finally time for that system to change. This country of ours, the United States, was born out of it was born out of a revolution. And we've been having revolutions ever since. The civil rights movement and the queer movement are both examples of times in our nation history when people knew when people had to fight for what they knew was right in a system that they knew was wrong. Revolutions are not easy, and oftentimes they are scary, but they are necessary for the world to change and for it to be a better place for everyone to live. Right now, the revolution is centered on the fact that police are unfairly targeting, hurting, and killing black Americans, and that's been the system for a very long time. While police are supposed to help and protect everyone, that is not the case. And what we're seeing is what happens when people are tired of this broken system that allows for so many black Americans to live in fear of the police. I don't know how long this is going to last or what it's going to look like, but I am here for you. I'm here as a resource for families, for parents, and I'm here to talk. This is such an, an important moment in history, and I want to do whatever I can to make it easier to navigate. This will not be the only time we discuss this matter, and I want to keep opening this as the situation unfolds, and for now, I want to leave you with some questions. How are you feeling? Do you understand what's going on? What questions do you have? and what would be most helpful for you. Uh, a lot of my contact information is available on the UCC website. Um, I'm available by email at all times. And I want to be here because I care about you all very, very much. So if there's anything I can do, I'm here for you. We'll be starting our proper lessons soon, but I want to open this up for us to discuss whatever it is we need to discuss. So, stay safe, stay inside, wash your hands, and I'll talk to you soon.